Oil has been at the centre of the price inflation crisis, but this week things looked quite a bit different. Down 13% over the week and back within reach of $100 a barrel. As fingers will be crossed around the world, it doesn't spike again. The share market finished the day flat, but the week higher. Big banks spent the day hiking their mortgage rates, but their shares fell all the same. Lithium miners surged again. They were some of the biggest winners last year, and it looks like 2022 could be a similar story for them. Gold miner Perseus was the worst performer on the ASX 200 today. And the Australian dollar was mixed, buying 74 US cents, 67 euro cents, and 56 British pence. Thank you, Chris. A quick check of petrol now, and the average price for unleaded is $1.93 a litre. For diesel, it is $2.11. Here's Ellie. Well, there were bleak skies across Sydney today for the first day of April and thanks to those gale force southerlies, we've seen wind gusts of more than 83 kilometres per hour recorded on our harbour. And along with those damaging winds, there was also hazardous surf. A 9.3 metre wave hit Sydney this morning, 10.1 metres recorded off Batemans Bay. It was wet, it was a cold day, reaching 19 to 21 degrees across our western suburbs, 10 degrees in Katoomba, 18 in the city, but it felt more like 12 degrees. Let's go to the gauges. There were moderate falls along the New South Wales coast today. Newcastle picking up 16.8. Sydney just shy of 20 millimetres. To tomorrow and the wet weather, unfortunately it persists. This low will continue to generate driving showers, strong winds and large waves off the east coast. Brisbane will be partly cloudy, 28 degrees. Cam will be pretty cool, 17 degrees, and a shower or two for Melbourne. Back home, and we can expect along the coastal fringe once more heavy showers. The heaviest falls you can see here in the red around our south coast. This brings a risk of flash flooding, but at this stage, it's all about those damaging winds. Warnings remaining in place along the entire coast, including also the snowy mountains. The south coast will also be very chilly, only reaching 17 to 18 degrees in Batemans Bay and Bega. The north coast, well, it will be much warmer. Now, there's also a warning for damaging surf and abnormally high tides for all of these areas that you can see here in red. Sydney will be cloudy tomorrow with a very high chance of showers, most likely in the morning. It will also be very windy right throughout the day. In terms of temperatures, it will be warmer tomorrow, heading for tops of 20 degrees in the west. The city heading for 22 and it will also be 20 degrees in Cronulla. But looking ahead and look at these glorious icons, it will be sunny, blue skies Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. It's the same in our west with the added bonus of an extra day of sunshine on Tuesday. So we're in for a nice dry spell, Georgie. Looking forward to it, early. Thank you. And that is Nine News for this Friday. Deb Knight's next with The Current Affair. I'm Georgie Gardner.